Hello there! Here is another wig tutorial for Lucio of the game The Arcana. So here we go again. You will need a comb, some hair ties, scissors, a bunch of big hair clips, various small hair clips, a straightening iron, a hair dryer, and strong hairspray. So here is what we go at the beginning. Divide the hair into four parts. Just go serious, but make sure to leave enough length. And that's what we've got now. Clip away the upper hair and secure the side front hair with hair ties. Make a classy man bun from all the upper hair and trim the neck hair shorter. We need some layers now and we will slowly approach that by first cutting a rough guideline. Then Grab the hair vertically and bring everything from our rough guideline to the bottom into line. I wasn't satisfied with the layers, so I added some random vertical up to down cuts. If you've got this, you can open the bun and cut a rough guideline here too. Remember that this is the top hair which you will need for his characteristic strands afterwards. Don't cut it too short. We also grab the hair vertically here and bring everything into line. Comb the top hair up and away and secure all the hair underneath with big clips. If I wouldn't be such a cameraman, you could see that I shortened the very upper top hair, which will make it easier afterwards to make the rebellious lock strands. As orientation for the length, I had a picture of the gold man's profile. In the next step you remove the clips and cut it in a way that there are no harsh lines between top hair and the rest anymore. But make sure that the top hair is still longer than the hair in the middle of the wig. Is there a bedroom burning or is it just hot in here? No. Stop it. It's a straightening iron. With that, create a luxurious flip to the heaven. Do that to half of the wig from up to down. If your flips are falling down again like a hanged man, Bruh. hold them until they have cooled down. Since this will last a bit, time for a goat pun. Why do French goats sound so epic? Because they have French horns. For God's sake, that's enough. To create some volume on his receding hairline, curl the first part of the strand in the opposite movement, so that it's not out, but in. Take a strong hairspray like this, or whatever floats your goat. Hold the wig upside down and put on some thin layers of hairspray. Then carefully bring the hair down in directions you want them. You will notice irregularities and be able to cut them straight away.
fine-tuning time. Drape the strands like you want them. I personally found it easier to do the draping with the wig hat and gravity in my hands. I mean, to be honest, Lucio's hair looks as if he has gotten into a wind tunnel. Help with a straightening iron if the flips meanwhile vanished like Asra does all the time when <coughs> gets serious. If they still don't want to cooperate, hairspray and blow dry them, but hold them until they are cool and dry or use hair clips. And now it's time for some ghost puns. What kind of street do ghosts prefer to live on? A dead end. What room of the house are you least likely to find a ghost in? The living room. Why are ghosts bad at telling lies? You can see right through them. Why didn't the ghost go to the party? He had nobody to go with. Okay, off from that emotional roller coaster and back to wig styling. Nice. Also, don't forget to hairspray the side parts relative strictly back since, as I mentioned before, Lucio looks as if he has gotten into some storm. The Count has pretty much volume and a small bump on his back head. To achieve that, I added some inside curls, put on some hairspray and teased it. You can also lift the parts who should be more voluminous with the comb, hairspray it and blow dry it while still holding it.
And here we go, finished wig. I hope this tutorial was useful for you. If you liked it, I'd be glad if you leave a thumb up. If you want more, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching and creep it real.